So you just joined Crate Hackers and now you're wondering what are the next steps? Ty says, I've been watching the Crate Hackers videos with my grandson who's starting off with his interest to DJ. I'm completely confused with the instructions on how to use Crate Hackers. We downloaded the app and the music is showing in it, but we can't figure out the rest, crate building, etc. Ty goes on to say that she's not very tech savvy, although her grandkid is. Isn't that usually the case with kids now? Also goes on to say that she's been in radio since the 80s. You know what? I'm going to stop down and help a fellow radio vet. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe you have yet to download the Crate Hackers desktop app yourself. Let's go ahead and get started with that. Head to the homepage and click download app. Now, if you're not a member yet, go ahead and pause this video and grab the link below for a seven-day free trial so you can keep up with our steps and tips here. Download for Mac or Windows. You'll be prompted with the sign-in screen. A big red banner will be at the top of the software saying you have not scanned any of your tracks. To get the most out of Cray Hackers, click here to scan your library. Now, this might be where first-timers may get a little confused. Crate Hackers was initially designed for DJs who had way too much music. It started when I had terabytes of tracks that I never used, and it caused me to crash and burn at my first ever performance in Las Vegas. So I come to realize that I wasn't the only DJ who had too much music. And so we had to figure out a way of extracting the hits out of all the music that we've accumulated over the years. Now for the DJs who are slowly building their collection, don't worry, we got you here in this video. But understand that the real reason Cray Hackers existed was to help DJs find music faster. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today in today's video. Now we're at the point of if you have 200 songs, or 200,000 songs, you'll want to add it to the Crate Hackers desktop app so we can see what songs might be missing from your collection. Okay, now for my radio vets out there, you're going to love this part. Every time you open up a crate, you're going to see some old radio philosophies built into it where we take classics and currents and, and program them in a way to where they're mixable. And this is perfect for the beginner DJs. Anytime you open up a newly published crate, you're gonna see a snapshot of a performance, much like a history set list of a DJ, right? In many cases, you'll find songs in a harmonic and BPM match. And all the while, you're gonna have current songs, the occasional gold classics, backed up with the data that DJs need. I always felt personally that there were a ton of great radio charts out there, but what about charts for DJs? That's our mindset every time we go in to build a crate. But this still may not answer your question, where do I get the music? Going back into the crate, if I were to open this up, now you're gonna see the songs that are currently in my collection, the songs that I've already downloaded before. If there was a song that was missing, I can download it super fast through a record pool, any streaming channel, or you can find over 20 locations to purchase the song. Now for Ty's nine-year-old grandson, it's likely they don't have a library of music. That is where the cloud crates come in. Every single crate we've ever built has a clone on the most popular streaming services available. Go to the top of the crate and click on any of our streaming providers, and you see the crates can be performed anywhere, anyhow. Now, how do you get streaming crates into your DJ software? So very easy, let me show you. Most of the popular DJ software now has the ability for you to choose your favorite streaming service. Log into the service you prefer, grab a playlist you like, favorite or heart it so it's added to your collection, and the next time you open up your DJ software and refresh, your favorite crate will be ready to stream and play. I really wanted to point that part out because you don't necessarily need a music collection to get started with mixing. I really hope this helps our hacker Ty as well as her grandson. It's really exciting to see DJ vets teaching younger generations. If you're excited about music, you've found the channel. My name is Aaron Trailer. We are the Crate Hackers. Happy hacking.